Praise the Lord. Today we are going to see about the Tower of Babel. And in the Tower of Babel, they actually don't want to get the fame, but at last they got the shame. So we are going to see uh, what is the reason that they want to get the fame and why it changed into the uh, shame. All these things we are going to see today. Thank you for joining. Let me share a slide so it can be useful for you to uh, read it out. And if you have the Bible, keep it in your hand and just read with me also. So may God bless you all. So today's lesson is about Tower of Babel. It is there in Genesis chapter 11. Let me go to that. So the Tower of Babel, not the name of fame, but of shame. That's what happened there. We are going to see here uh, why they want the name of fame and how it changed into the name of shame. And the Bible portion for this, uh, the Tower Builders of at Babel is about uh, in Genesis chapter 11. The Tower Builders at Babel, Genesis chapter 11, not the name of fame, but of shame. Please open the Bible and let me read the first book of Genesis. Take the, uh, the chapter 11. Let me go to that. Before that, as you all know that, I just want to give the brief that uh, the book of Genesis has 50 chapters and it is divided into two parts. God's dealing with mankind. God's dealing with the nation of Israel. You all know the nation of Israel, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. Before that, God first of all deal with mankind in general. So that is there in of 1 to 11 chapters. There we saw the previous week, the creation, 1 and 2 chapters, the fall of man, 3 to 5 chapters, the flood, 6 to 9 chapters, the nations, that we are going to see today, 10 to 11 chapters there, the, 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 the Tower of Babel, uh, that's what we are going to see. After the Tower of Babel, God formed 70 nations. Um, that is there in chapter 10 and 11. Today we are going to concentrate in this uh, portion, the nations, that is the Tower of Babel, 10 to 11 chapter of Genesis. Uh, so, so, so far we have learned so many things, isn't it, until the... Um, Eight chapters we have finished it, isn't it? So here we have eight and ninth, ninth chapter we have finished. I want to just give the points to remember so you can understand what I'm teaching. On the first of all, the chapter one we saw God, God's word extend over seven days. On the day two, God created light, and day two, God created sky from water on the earth and separated the, uh, the sky from water on the earth. So there comes the sky. There is also a sea. And the day three, God separated the land from the water. And there was a created plant on the land. And the day four, God created sun, moon, and stars. And he keep it on the sky. And the day five, to fill the sky, God created bird. And to fill the water, God created uh, fish. And the day six, God created land animal and human being to fill the earth. So everything is perfect. And the God, day seven, God rested and declares creation good. And next the lesson is what we learned about the Garden of Eden and the fall. That is there in Genesis chapter 2 and 3. There we learned God uh, gave rules and responsibilities. That's why it was given to Adam and Eve. God and God considered obedient very, very important. It's an obedient thing not to eat from the tree of good and evil. And the God has not given up on us even when we disobey. That's what happened. They disobeyed and ate the fruit. And even though God didn't give up, God gives some hardship, but God didn't give uh, didn't give up. Uh, disobedience causes people to lose access to the presence of God. That's why they are thrown away from the Garden of Eden. Fifth one, the sinful rebellion against God bring curses such as pain, conflict, and death because of their sin. There was a pain in childbirth for the uh, yeah, for the woman and for conf conflict for um, uh, for a human, especially for uh, Adam to bring forth them, the crop, it is very hard, and at last there is a physical death. But what is the remedy for this? The only way to come out of this curse is to join Jesus Christ who died as a curse for the human race and change the death into life through his resurrection. That's we learned in chapter 2 and 3. Then in chapter 4, uh, 4 and 5 we learned about Cain and Abel. So the two characters, two characters very, very important in each and every day of our life because Cain problem is his attitude. So what we have to do with the attitude, we must concentrate Concentrate on doing what is right to overcome evil. Anytime we are always prone to do evil, but that how to avoid it, we always concentrate on doing what is right. And that's the character about Cain. And what about Abel? Abel is a righteous man. Continue to serve and worship God. You should not stop it. What do you what is what is the advantage of doing that? The more you worship the true God, the more you avoid doing sin in your life. So then we learn see, about the great flood. 
previous class and that is in genesis chapter 6 and 9 in that case we learned about the man called noah so noah was an example of a believer how because noah walked with the lord and enjoyed the god's presence noah worked for the lord in building the ark you all know that he wrote the hebrew build the ark for 120 years noah witnessed for the lord as a preacher of righteousness when he constructed the ark he just not keep it quiet he was also preaching and telling the people to build the boat and to come out of their evil thing so he witnessed for the lord and fourth one noah while in the ark for more than one year he waited for the lord for the instruction for i told you noah was there in the ark for one year 17 days until that time there is no revelation but he was waited for the lord to say the ark fifth one noah when he came out of the ark he worshiped the lord and committed himself to god's will so this is a best example of a the christian so you and me have to do this each and every day check whether you are doing work with the lord work for the lord witness for the wherever you go you should be a witness and everybody has to tell you that you are a children of christ and you are waited for the lord when the answer is not coming and you have to worship the lord continuously and praise him so today we are going so then after that today we are going to see about the tower builders of babel today's lesson not the name of fame but of fame genesis chapter 11 so this is a tower of babel i just showed you one picture so it will be useful for you the people are constructing and one man was instructing them maybe that man people are telling him maybe the name of the man maybe the name of it's not given in the bible but the theologians are telling that name the name of the man may be the may be the nimrod we don't know that but the construction is going on the people are obeying one man's instruction they are constructing let me go to it so the tower builders at babel at the babel there are some tower builders are there and what happened there we are going to the genesis chapter 11 1 to 9 is a portion that i'm going to divide it into two parts first one the builders of tower genesis chapter 11 1 to 4 and then the god's judgment and their willful rebellion they are they are rebelling willfully we are going to see why the uh, what, what rebellion they did uh, what disobedient willful rebellion and willful disobedient okay the building of tower the god's judgment on their willful disobedient genesis chapter 11 5 to 9 so only 9 9 verses it will be useful for you okay let me go to the builders of tower 1 to 4 i am having um, it is there in the screen also you can also read with your bible genesis chapter 11 now the whole world has one language and a common speech can okay, language speak one language as people moved eastward they found a plain in sinar and settled there so there is a name place place of a name a play, the name of the place that's called sinar seeing that they settled there okay uh, then what happened they said to each other after settling there they said to each other come let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly why well, they used to brick instead of stone and tar for the mortar since it was a plain there is no mountains to get the rock isn't it bricks there is no rock stones are there so what they they, they, they want to do they, they are going to make bricks how to make the bricks with the straw and all other things they have to make it each and every people has to make the brick and the tar for mortar there was no mortar there like mortar means clay there is no clay instead of that they are using tar that this were available in the land of sina what is available in the plain of sina the plain of sina is not a mountain there are no stones so since there are no stones they are making bricks first of all and instead of uh, uh, there is since it is a plain there is no water land if there is a water land they have the mud since there is no water level or plain uh, uh, um, shallow water is there they are instead of mud the available thing is tar using these two things they are going to do something what they are going to do then they said come let us build ourselves a city they want to build a city okay with the tower that reaches to the heavens first of all they want to build the first city then in that city they are going to build a tower okay two things are very important um, uh, well, not an ordinary tower with a tower that reaches to the heavens okay they are, they are telling that they are uh, we are going to not ordinary one it has to reach the heaven so it should be uh, high rise to tower so that we may make a name for ourselves why why they build the um, tower the tower because whenever the whoever see this name oh these people made this tower so even when we die our name is going to be flourish moreover we are going to be settled in one place no need to afraid of anybody else so otherwise we will be scattered over the face of the whole earth so don't want to scatter 
the main purpose is they don't want to scatter first of all and moreover they want to build a tower so that their name is going to be there forever okay these are the two reasons for that they make the brick and they use to tar so they all together speaking one language one language and a common speech vocabulary is common one language so you can every people are understanding so let me divide this chapter 11 1 to 4 that is a builder of tower in further two parts one language purpose to build the city and tower first is one language then text one is purpose what is the purpose to build the city and tower why one language what is that one language now the whole world has one language and a common speech for example in our world um english language is an international language what is the english language for us english language is an international language maybe even though my mother tongue is tamil malayalam telugu whatever it may be but the whole world know one language that is the english language in the same way in those period they have a one common language and we don't know what what that language may be maybe the hebrew we don't know what is that language that is not written in the bible there was a one common language so with that common language people are talking and one speech in addition to the local language of each nation um that there exists only one language which made communication possible throughout the world only one language like english what we are speaking and purpose to build a city and tower what's the purpose the purpose is that come let us make brick and make beg them together come let us uh, build ourselves a city with a tower that reaches to the heaven so there is two come so coming means again to they are, they are, they are commanding they are coming together there is a cooperation isn't it everything cooperation is going on why to make the name for ourselves and moreover we should not scatter over the face of the whole earth now they are building can you see here all together they are building happily and the building purpose is going on so what is the purpose the purpose is two thing is a purpose for building one is faith second one is security so what is the purpose of building the tower of babel the two reasons for the two purpose are there one is a fame next is the security genesis chapter 11 2 to 4 okay some uh, uh, some unidentified group uh, marched to sinar from the east okay we don't know uh, which generation people went to um, sinar okay some unidentified people they are not belong to some certain clan or tribes nothing is given okay there are some unidentified people marched to place called sinar from the east what they did they marched from the sinar to the east as the people moved eastward they eastward the people moved eastward so they don't we didn't we didn't know what is the name of the people what tribe they belong to whether they are people of israel or something else whether they may be maybe may the generation of cain nothing is given just people so we don't know who the people are just certain people moved to the sinar from the east the human project include what they are including building a city and a tower that is equal to the modern day city and high rise building we have no we are living in a well constructed city with a high rise building like that they want to construct the purpose of this building project is fame and security the completion of such a building would bring fame completion the builders also thought that the exercise of such an existence of such big city would be the assurance of that security thus the schedule in the city they, this is directly opposite to the divine commandment that was given to noah what happened to noah when he, as i told when he noah came out of the ark he, he built a ark he built an altar and worship the reason he gave a burnt offering sacrifice and worship the lord god made a covenant with whom noah what was the covenant the covenant is fulfill the uh, increase and fill the fill the earth increase and increase and fill the earth first that is very very important thing so what they have to do they have to scatter and fill the earth not settle in one place so though god blessed noah and his son saying to them be fruitful and increase in numbers fill the earth but what they are doing instead of that they are not obeying that is uh, not obeying the divine commandment they are not scattering they are not they want to settle in one place so first name thing is a, is a problem is going on because of they want fame and security and oh, god judgment on their willful rebellion god is going to judge because of their willful disobedience what was judgment but the lord came down to see city and tower the people were building the lord said if as one people speaking the same language they have begun to do this then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them what they are telling oh one people are speaking the same language 
okay that's what they are doing so then nothing then the plan may be impossible what uh, it is it, 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 it is possible the plan is possible because they are speaking one language so god is telling let us go down and confuse their language so that they will not understand each other so the lord scattered them from they are over all the earth and they stop building the city first of all they start with building the city that the end of it stop building the city so city is also very important not only tower city is also important that is why it is called babel because there the lord confused the language of whole world from that the lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth so this is the will for god's judgment on their willful disobedience the city then tower first they started to build the city at last they scattered this um, um for all over the world stop building the city so the construction was going on it is not completed it is going on on and on it was going on the construction was stopped because god confused the language and god called this name the city is named what babel the city the, the before that city name was not given the, that's only the plain on the plain of sinar they started to build the city they didn't give any name to the city they are waiting to complete the city after completion they want to give a beautiful and excellent name such way that all people can remember the builders but it didn't happen instead of that the city name was given the babel which is a confusion so they want the fame but it turns into the shame shame is what confusion oh confusion confusion i don't know what to do they stopped it so there is a shame in them so god's judgment let me go let us divide this portion into three parts and they are genesis chapter 11 5 to 9 god came down first of all to give the judgment um, um god came down and what was the judgment given god confused the language what was the consequence of this judgment not the name of fame but of shame so that's what happened god came down to give the judgment because of the willful disobedient of the uh, people because they were they, they don't want to scatter they don't want they want to settle in one place and not only that they want to build a city and also the tower so that their name is going to be there forever this is a uh, rebellion disobedient for that uh, god came down um, and god confused the language and because of the confusion the name of the city is not fame but a shame which means babel confusion so let me go to the calm god came down but the lord came down to see the city and tower of the people were building you all know that the what is intention of the people they are building so much it has to go and reach the heavens but here what is happening the, the tower is not reaching the heaven instead of that the god in the heaven has to come down and see that understand it is very small you cannot reach the heaven so uh, the, god, god want to see the city and the tower so the people were building not only the tower city and the tower so everywhere you see not the tower is not given there separately both city and tower so both are very important and lord said if there is one people speaking the same language they have begun to do this what is the, why they started to do they started to do because they are speaking one language so there is a beautiful cooperation then nothing they plan to do will be impossible for them so god found out why the cooperation have where the cooperation started because they are speaking one language so everything is possible for them so god is touching Definitely. Now God, God came down. The builder intention is to erect a tower whose top will be in heavens. That is among the gods. But God does not laugh at them. But He takes the scheme that is the scheme quite seriously. It is 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 it possible for the human being to build a tower to reach the heaven? No way. So God, this is a laughable thing. But God didn't laugh. Instead of that, He takes this matter very seriously. Why? In fact, if something is not going done to stop the project. project the consequence can be very bad what's the consequence the concern of god is that one scheme will motivate other scheme the human is trying to step his limit so that they so so they have to pay a price for their self exaltation this action must be stopped immediately because they are not going to start up one scheme after another scheme they are they are stepping out of their limit their limit is that much only but they are stepping out of the limit because they want to exalt their name so if i want to allow this this is going to increase further and further and further problems and this has to be stopped immediately for that god came down he take the matter very very seriously and then god confused the language genesis chapter 11 7 to 8 come let us go down again god is saying come 
before there is a come come let us make the brick come let us build the city and tower now god is telling come let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other you can ask me to whom god is talking here let us go it is given it is not given maybe god is talking to the angels isn't it god because god created the angels when he created the world so there may be the angels we don't know so but god god come let us go down and confuse their language so they will not understand each other so the lord scattered them from there over all the earth and they stopped building the city thought it now stop the next big word that god confused the language now there is a great confusion the people stop and they are not able to understand so for building anything they need cooperation isn't it building is a great project it's a difficult one it need cooperation it is not easy to build a house it is very very tough each not one person can build it somebody has to make the brick somebody has to uh, combine the tower with that brick somebody has to construct it somebody has to take it on top of it because it's a tall tower isn't it uh, some all this people they need people and there there's a one man to give the command then that language is also changed he is talking something else people also not able to understand so the commanding person is very important the language is completely changed nobody can understand the one universal language that was finished so it so let us see that god confused the language god came down not to instruct the project but to stop it God bothered to stop the project is surprising you can ask why god is confusing the language he can just stop the tower no Oh, God can do anything immediately can, because God created the great flood. That flood com- completely consumed the entire, wiped out the entire world. God can do anything. This He can do easily. No, He can just topple the tower. He didn't do like that. Why? God's mother to stop the project is surprising. He will confuse their language. Why? Why not? Simply topple the tower. The, that would solve the problem only temporarily. So, if, for example, you topple the tower, God topple the tower. What may they have, they have thought? Oh, something happened wrong uh, happened in the construction. Let me build some more strong. Let us put the good foundation. Let us build it again. Isn't it? The, the, that is not the, that is only uh, that is not the correct um, solution to the problem. So, what? Uh, otherwise, they will start another type of project like that. Isn't it? So, what is the solution for that? Is that um, it is not the tower that must be removed. What must be but it is an international language that provides communication among different groups must be removed. The only thing removed is the language, not the tower. It, if the if this ability to communication is removed, then it is impossible to continue with that work. They cannot continue. Understand? So the sin of the tower of Babel is pride. So the Lord scattered them from there over all the earth, and they stopped building the city. Now another point is pride. For so because they want to put get their name for themselves. and so the people will say you are the best people you are the so cooperative people you are so capable wisdom people you are such a great knowledgeable people you did so much this building is not going to shaken by anything it is going to be there for ever and ever so the pride is going to increase isn't it so they are not going to scatter from that place they are going to stay in that place what what is the god commandment to scatter over the world and increase in number isn't it but that is not going to happen because once they complete the tower so instead of toppling the tower god confuse the language the mode of communication which is in international language that provide communication among different groups of the people was removed though stopping so the city building was stopped so at last not this name not the name of fame but a shame happened that is there in jericho chapter 11 verse 9 let me read that that is why it was called babel that is why that is why that is why because it is stopped it it, it was started with great um, intention with great uh, um, um of desire of a uh, fame um, with the with desire of security uh, with the desire of a great cooperation and all these things but now what happened that is why it is called babel because there the lord confused the language of the whole world can you see whole world it is written confused the language because why there is a whole world there was a only one mode of one international language for 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 whole world all the people can understand even though they belong to say different place different tribe different group but whatever may be well, they have a same language for example i told you we have the international language of english wherever you go if you speak english 
and anybody can understand isn't it so like that there was a language we don't know what is a language so that is why it was called babel because there the lord confused the language of the whole world from there the lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth scattered finish so never ever they came together there was a great scatter let me go to that um, not the name of fame but of shame the story is an example of man's useless attempt to gain security apart from god through city building you need security isn't it why we are building the house every pretty at the house isn't it when you go to your native place there is a house for you when you are staying in this abroad there is a beautiful house always you try to get a good house your, your parents always want to have a good house with two bedroom with a toilet with big kitchen so a good security man so because somebody will come and blogger will come and say the house and so everything is needed is it not uh, it is not wrong but the intention is that uh, they are they deliberately disobeying god that is a problem the story is an example of man useless attempt to gain security apart from god through city building for example in i mean you think in another way okay they want to build a city for example so they are moving they came to the plain called sina okay sina is that um sina in um, they they came to the plain they saw the plain is beautiful they may be thinking what to do so we want to settle here so let us ask god's will okay god is is it possible is it is it, it is your will for me to settle here is it is it the will for me to build a city God might have said, "No, no, you scatter all over the earth. There, where I will, I will show the place where you have to settle. There, you build a city. There, you build a home. There, go to the security. I am going to give the security for you. No wrong, nothing is wrong. Building house, building tower, um, wanting security. Is it anything wrong? Nothing wrong. No wrong. But we are seeking the security apart from God." apart from the will of the god the will of the god is not we have to suffer the will of the god is not that we have to live in an unsecured place the will of the god is that we have to be happy the will of the god is that they have the family has to settle in a one place the will of the god is that we have to be secure no nobody should come and attack us everything is the will of the god but if you want to attempt to gain security apart from god through city building there is a problem comes in your in your life also take a lesson at this whatever you want to do ask the god if it is god's purpose he will certainly do it without that don't do anything deliberately if you are going to um, disobey god that is going to be a great shame that is going to be a great confusion in our life okay the people wanted to make their name fame but they were given the name of shame the city once said god the greatest now has its builder leave the city scatter over the face of the whole earth what happened if somebody crossed through the plain what the, why the building construction stopped what happened why the people are not there you know what happened so some people came here together they want to construct the building away from the will of the god god scattered them all over so this is a place of shame this is called babel babel means confusion we see it so that became in another way wrong okay understand the city once called the greatest now has its builder leave the city and scatter over the face of the whole earth now the city is called babel which means to confuse what is the mean, meaning of babel the babel means to confuse the lord confused the language of the whole world and stopped the project okay the confusion of the language occurred 110 years after the flood can you see how many years after the flood after 110 years after the flood this confusion happened until that year the people were scattering and spreading slowly slowly they were doing it but after had and 10 years they were fed up of scattering i think I, i don't know why they want to settle in the place and they for the god's will so they minister of fame they got they got this shame okay after that what happened after that what happened after that what happened that is there in genesis chapter 10 so first of all i i i taught you from genesis chapter 11 and then i'm going to genesis chapter 10 why you know in genesis 10 itself the 70 nations are given okay the people it is written in genesis chapter 10 the three sons uh, three noah sons same ham and japheth settled all over the world they have the, their own uh, tribe their own clan family their own language their own nation that means what first of all they were the certain set of people want to so build a tower want to settle in a place got scattered since got scattered they all were they scattered all over the world and each and every are different language there is no one common international language so each and every clan each and has a language each 
each and every nation has a language each and every territory has a different different language so all the people are that all the people of different language for example in our india can you see there are so many language india is a unity in diversity no nation is like our india see can you see in not in the south we are talking tamil malayalam uh, telugu then kannada then if you go to north they will speak punjabi and they will speak uh, hindi they will speak urdu mm, uh, so many so many languages are there in innumerable languages are there in india so many so that means people are telling all over the place so many group group of people came and settled in india so india is a one nation with the many languages isn't it this is the best example i can say uh, in this case of uh, spreading out see can you see different different languages same ham and jepet or the three sons of nova they settled they populated 70 nations are created how many nations it is that in genesis chapter 10 70 nations are now there are so many nations but in genesis chapter 10 it is given how many nations that they formed 70 nations so what happened to nations who is in control of all the nation god is the lord of all nations whatever in place where you are now we are seven continents so many nations are there wherever you live god is the lord of all nations all nation belong to the same human family isn't it we all came from adam and eve so all nation belong to the same human family god has a purpose for nation to fulfill each and every nation has a purpose god has to fulfill that purpose next one god is um, concerned for all the nations god not only love only israel god not only love india god not only love pakistan god love all the nation because god is concerned for all the nation god is concerned for all the people in the nation all are equal to god but so god is in control of all nations from where we learn that from genesis chapter 10 before what happened there was scattering that is there in genesis chapter 11 so i am going to finish it what are the offenses of the builders of tower of babel what is the problem two things are problem what are the two? only two things first one is pride second one is disobedient so when we are going to finish the lesson we have to learn some useful thing which is required for our christian living you all create christian children and you should you are for you are reading bible and you are following the bible so whenever you read a portion you have to learn something from 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 that portion so today what we are learning from this the tower of babel we are learning that um, offenses two two things are totally it's offensive in our christian life first is pride next one is disobedient how they are pride the builders of pride because they desire to make a name for themselves that is a problem i told you know they ask god but if it is it a is it account to your will can we build a um, tower here can we build a city here god might tell no 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 not now you can build but you scatter all over the world and then you can build i told you genesis chapter 10 70 nations are created those nations built a tower if we go and see the genesis chapter 10 there are so many cities so many nations so many towers so many buildings so many securities god gave it but in his time so but there is a pride they want to make a name for themselves such a desire often lead to sinful behavior first pride the next one is a disobedient god commanded the human race to fill the earth where we saw that when god created adam and eve the first commandment god gave to adam and eve is to fill the earth increase populate increase and fill the earth and after uh, god wiped out the entire world with a uh, great flood when noah came out of the ark when he worshiped the lord god made a covenant with noah and said fill the earth fill the earth fill the earth two times god gave this commandment again third time also they are what disobeying so but these people are afraid of why they are disobeying what is the problem why they cannot uh, uh, scatter because they are afraid of scattering they are not believing god that god will protect them god will control over them god will give the security for them god will provide the way for them that is also problem in you and me most of the time we disobey because we are afraid of the situation since we are afraid of the situation we are not obeying god's will we are doing our own wish understand so they disobey the command and build the city and tower so god stopped their project and scattered them all over the earth so today we learn two things very very important don't do anything for your name uh, fame 
don't do anything that because you are i want to get the name everybody has to praise me i am the best student i am the best girl i am the one who study well i am the one who read the bible i am the one the best pianist i am the one who play best uh, guitar i am the best i am the one who only read bible correctly i am the one who read uh, english correctly i am the one who have the good pronunciation i am the best all people are down that is wrong don't say anything if god gives some ability some some child can read bible very nicely they have very good accent some children can understand bible very nicely some children can play piano very nicely some children can speak english very beautifully some children can interpret it very nicely some children can write beautifully without any mistakes these are all the talents abilities god is giving you so you have to praise god and accept this ability and use it for the kingdom of god understand use it for god's purpose don't for your name's sake if you do that what happened to babel it certainly happened to you you are not going to get the same you are going to be shameful person you and me i'm not telling you also but me also i'm telling you are going to be be shameful in that place understand the place god want to be shame that god make us to be shame okay so don't do it try to take it out and next is disobedient that is always bad okay obey your parents when you go to school obey the teacher when obey obey the elders if you see obey your parents and you obey your elders and obey the people who are giving good advice automatically you are going to obey the true god if you are not obey to obey your parents if you are not going to obey the rules given by the teacher automatically surely you never ever obey god okay so obedience is very very important that's what the two lesson we learned today let me finish with a memory verse proverb chapter 11 verse 2 when pride comes then comes disgrace that's what happened no but with the humility comes wisdom so humility means what everything is having um low in spirit everything accept from god and uh, accepting the situation where you are and uh, praising god for that situation so if you are show the humility god will give the wisdom understand that wisdom is very very important so when pride comes then comes disgrace but with humility comes wisdom this is a memory verse for pride and the memory verse for obedience jesus christ told in john 14 15 if you love me keep my commands okay so if you keep your command automatically you are going to obey god and you are going to love god if you love god certainly ever god will bless you god will show his way to you god will give you security to you but whatever you ask in your prayer god will certainly answer to your prayer thank you thank you for attending god bless you children god bless you thank you thank you aunty thank you